When a river reaches the ocean or a lake, a delta can form. The river must have a large sediment load to create the delta. Ocean currents must be weak, and there must be little tidal difference to prevent the delta from being eroded away. One type is a cuspate delta, which resembles a pointed tooth. The relatively calm waves simply push the sediment to the sides. The arcuate delta, in which strong winds push sediment to the sides. The Nile is the most evident example of this. The difference between an arcuate and cuspate delta is that arcuate deltas have many distributaries, while cuspates only have one. There are bird's foot deltas, which extend far out into the ocean, resembling the foot of a bird. They have fine sediment, which can make their way quite far out to sea, even in decreased velocity. The river splits into many distributaries as a result of the weak ground from the sediment. When sea levels rose after the last ice age, they flooded some river mouths which are called estuaries. When a river fills part of the estuary in with sediment, an estuarine delta forms. And until next time, thanks for watching.